Shagheads, Curtis Tucker here with another episode of a Shaggy Life podcast. Uh, this is going to be kind of a quick one, but a fun one. And this one is kind of, I guess, part two of my million step adventure. So this is basically uh, the results of my million step adventure. But uh, first off, don't forget if you guys are listening to this on your favorite podcasting app. You can also watch a video and see me waving at you right now on YouTube at Curtis Tucker, uh, the Curtis Tucker channel. Go to youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker. And if you guys are watching this, if you happen to run across this video somewhere, uh, you can also listen to my podcast, uh, Shaggy Life, on all of your favorite podcasting apps. And then also, don't forget that uh, I type out a lot of this in blog form on the blog at curtistucker.com and then what I do is I embed the uh, audio podcast and the video uh, at the bottom of the blog and so you actually can either read, listen, or watch uh, most of the episodes right there on the website. So I appreciate you guys subscribing to the YouTube channel and uh, sharing when you can and then also subscribing to my podcast. And if I can really get those going, I will uh, do lots more episodes. But now that I have the uh, Million Steps in May challenge out of the way, uh, hopefully uh, in June I'll be able to get a podcast and a blog uh, post done every week. I think I'm like too short this month because uh, I got a little behind trying to keep up with uh, this challenge. So anyway, let's get into it. You guys are probably wanting uh, to know all of the greasy details and the results of my month long adventure. And so, and I'm calling it adventure. So this is my one million step adventure and it started May 1st and was going to run all month long. But uh, I'm here to tell you that I did not uh, get my uh, 1 million steps in 30 days. So originally, I was going to do the uh, Walk This May uh, challenge for the whole month of May and, and just see if I could get the most steps out of everybody in the contest. But then I got really far ahead. Um, so I was going to do a million steps in 30 days. Well, I did not get um, my million steps in 30 days, but I did uh, get my million steps in 29 days. And so, yep, that's right. I uh, decided that since I was going to be podcasting this tonight, that uh, it would be better that I was for sure that I got all my steps rather than podcasting and telling you guys that I was for sure I would be able to get them the next morning. So anyway, so this way it's out of the way. Uh, I got all of my million steps in in 29 days, and so this is a little bit about the adventure that I went through. And um, I do call it an adventure because at the age of 61, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it. Um, I didn't know uh, I didn't know anything about this, so it was kind of a fun, unique um, challenge, something that I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. And then also, as I got going, I didn't know from day to day how I was going to squeeze in all of the steps that I needed to get. So um, not only was the whole challenge one big adventure, but literally every day was its own small adventure on, you know, the different ways. It's kind of funny. I'm also going to be putting a video together of some of the things I did to get all of the steps. So I, I recorded when I was out on the trail and I recorded when I was in here and I recorded when I was in the house, different situations of where I was getting all my uh, steps in. So I will have that video ready uh, probably next week and then I will add it to this as well. But um, so, yeah, so every day kind of became its own adventure uh, in just trying to get all of uh, my steps in. And so, um, like I said, this is kind of part two. Part one was kind of describing what the challenge was and everything. So I'm going to repeat a little bit here real quick um, because uh, some people may not have heard uh, the first part um, of the million step uh, in May. And if you didn't, uh, you can basically get all of the information um, here on this podcast. And then also don't forget that not only is there 
a blog post on curtistucker.com about this million step adventure but then there's a prior blog post that's kind of a diary and it's not super i mean it is kind of detailed but it it's basically just telling you every day for 29 days how i got all the steps in every day um and i don't go into a huge amount of detail every day but i just kind of say okay i did this and this and this and this is how many steps i had and and everything so um so you might want to check that out as well especially if you're going to do um this type of challenge or you're wanting to get a lot of steps in so um so i've got a question on here on this blog post and it's why did i walk run a million steps and so this is kind of where it's a little bit of a repeat but um the reason that i did it um was because it was there basically um this whole million step adventure challenge was 100 percent unplanned had no idea that I was going to do it or had never even thought of doing it. Um, so the whole thing started with the Walk This May challenge, which is a yearly walking challenge that goes on, I think, through all throughout the country. And then each city, they kind of have their own contest with the people in that city. And I think our local chapter, I think they do a spring and a fall challenge and so you get to do it twice and so because of the uh, being Enid Buzz and advertising things I have advertised the walk and the challenge before but it just never dawned on me to enter uh, I just never thought about entering and so one day so I, I was so I you know I do, I do seven miles every morning I kind of run slash run out and walk back seven miles every morning and so looking at my apps uh, in the past I usually get in an average of 17,000 steps a day so um, which kind of in the beginning sounded like a lot at this point it doesn't sound like anything at all but so I normally get 17,000 steps in every day anyway and one day my neighbor across the street posted that he was going to be forming a team for the walk this may challenge and if anybody wanted to be a part of his team to let him know and so and the reason you form a team is in the, there were, there's a prize for the individual with the most steps but then each week a different team whatever team is in the lead for each week also gets prizes and so he was putting a team together just to see you know if he could win prizes with that team and so I kind of funny on a comment on that post of his on Facebook went hmm kind of like I was thinking about it and then from that point on that was like in early April and from that point on I didn't really think much about it but then there was like a deadline in April where if you didn't sign up by this certain date, you wouldn't get the free T-shirt, which I don't have on, but I've got on in the picture. Um, and so the day, the last day to sign up to get the T-shirt, he texted me and said, hey, I forgot. Um, this is the last day to get a T-shirt. Well, I, for some reason, I thought maybe he signed up the people that wanted to be on his team. So I said... I said, okay. I said, I'll, I'll be on your team. And he said, well, you have to sign up. So I had to sign up. So I signed up that day. I think it was $15 and I got in, in time to get the free t-shirt. And so at this point, I'm just thinking, okay, I'm just going to be a part of his team and I'm going to add 17,000 steps a day and, and I'll just keep track there. And, and so to be a part of the contest or the challenge, you download the pacer app and then the pacer app keeps track of everybody in the contest it com it keeps track of their steps and shows you who's in the lead and how many steps they've had and which teams are in the lead and it connects with i think your health app which is what tracks your steps and then also your um Apple Watch or, or Fitbit or whatever they they feed into your phone app and then that health app and then that feeds I believe into the Pacer app so everybody downloads the Pacer app and then logs in to the Enid Walk This May contest and what they did was once you signed up in April 
they said, go ahead and download the app. And then when you download the app, they were, were already recording your step. So basically, if you had your phone in your hand or in your pocket and you signed up and you opened the app, it, was, it started tracking your steps. And so I um, noticed that like after the first day, I think the first day that I downloaded the app, it said, you know, here's a trial. They wanted to kind of get you in the mood for May. So they said, here's, you know, a trial month, you know, to start to get ready. And so I think I did like 21,000 steps. Uh, it was like mid-April, um, 21,000 steps that first day. So I thought, okay, um, I can't remember what I did maybe so in the mornings I, it usually takes me an hour and a half to get my seven miles in and I think I might have upped that to two hours which gave me 21,000 steps and so I thought okay I'm going to commit since this is a challenge I want to do more than 17,000 so I'm going to commit to doing 21,000 steps a day for this contest and so I did that all through April and as I would check the app I was every day I was in the lead and nobody was really keeping up with me or passing me or anything so I thought oh wow I might have a chance to win the free pair so the individual winner gets a free pair of shoes at a local shoe store and so I thought oh uh, this might be kind of cool and you know there was like maybe 80 people that had signed up and so so then you get to and then what it does is on May 1st it started over at everybody started at zero on May 1st and it threw out everything that you had done before and so what I noticed what happened was on the last day of April uh, everybody else downloaded the app and there was a lot more people it went from like 80 to 107 um, on May 1st and so uh, a lot of people weren't I guess like showing their cards or they just didn't want to participate until May. And so um, so I got my 21,000 steps in, I think, in the morning or by mid-afternoon. And I noticed that one person zipped, just flew by me. And uh, they, they went, like, to 30,000 steps. And I was like, oh, wow, um, there are some people in this challenge that are taking this seriously and are going to try to win and, and stay ahead of me or whoever's ahead of them. And so if I'm going to even think about possibly, I wasn't super thinking about winning, but I thought, you know, if I'm going to stay in the race, I need to at least keep up with whoever's in the lead, maybe not be ahead of them, but at least stay within striking range. And so I upped my steps to 30,000, just over 30,000 that on May 1st. And the person that had passed me uh, I think they stopped at about 34,000 at the end of that evening and I could have because I stay up late um, I could have gone ahead of them but I didn't want to be that that one person that you know you would jump them and then they would jump you and you know so I thought okay I'll I'll settle for second place on the first day and I'm within striking distance I think I was like maybe 31, 32,000, and they were 34,000. And so the next day, May 2nd, I thought, okay, I can't be checking this app all day or I will be trying to compete with whoever's ahead of me and I will feel like I've always got to stop what I'm doing to keep up with whatever they're doing. So I thought, okay, I'm going to commit to 30,000 steps a day in May and wherever that gets me, that's where it gets me. And so I did not check the app all day May 2nd, and I made sure I got 30,000 steps in, but I did check at the end of the day just to see where I was and if I was still in striking range. Well, I ended up being in first place. I, I jumped way over the person that had gotten 34,000 the first day because they didn't get hardly any steps the second day. It, for some reason, they just came out with a... Uh, a huge amount of steps and then they kind of fell off and so all of a sudden I was in the lead with over 60,000 steps and so but I had already committed to 30,000 and so I thought okay I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing 30,000 steps a day so uh, so ba basically the first week 
Um, I stayed in the lead and I was gaining, my lead was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and then at the end of the first week, I was in the lead for individual. And then our team won the first week because we had the most steps average. And so, and then in the second week, the team that won the first week can't win again. And so, but our team stayed in first place the entire month. And I stayed in first place the entire month, except for that first day. Um, and so, so that, so, so, I, you know, I basically went from 21,000 commitment to 30,000 commitment steps a day. And then every now and then I would get, you know, 33 or 34,000. And then one day, um, I think like at the starting, start of the second week, somebody came out of the gate um, with a lot of steps. And I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to surpass them, even though I was ahead overall, um, it looked like somebody was going to get ahead of me for the second week. And so I thought, okay, at least one day this month, I'm going to do 40,000 steps in one day just to see if I can do it and just to say I did it. And so I think I did 40,000 steps and uh, maintained the lead and was cruising along. And that kept adding more and more steps on average than 30,000. So, so basically a couple of days before the midpoint of the, of the challenge, so somewhere around May 15, 16, um, I was out on the trail and a guy stopped me and asked me how the challenge was going. And I said it was going good. And prior, like maybe a week prior, I had just for funsies had looked into how many steps I was going to end up at the end of the contest. And it looked like I was going to be right around 900,000 steps for the month. And so then at that point, I thought, man, it would be cool to go and get a million. But that extra 100,000 steps, I thought that's going to be way too much work and way too much time. So I don't want to deal with that. So I'll just I'll just do my 30,000 steps a day. So anyway, so about halfway through the month, this guy stopped me and asked me how it was going. I said, hey, I'm uh, in first place. Our team is still in first place, and I have this many steps, which was uh, – and I think this was two days, like maybe two days before – one or two days before the midpoint. And he said, well, are you going to make a million steps? And I said, no. I said, I thought about it, but I think I'm going to come in at, you know, just over 900,000 steps, and and we kind of left it at that. And then that next day – I got to looking at the numbers and realized that I was almost at the halfway point and I actually did have 500,000 steps. And so, and I was going to have that 500,000 steps in the morning, you know, and I was still going to have the whole afternoon to put me over 500,000 steps. And so then it dawned on me, hey, I've basically, I'm on track to get a million steps. All I have to do is stay on track and I can do it. And so I did the math. And at that point, I just needed 32,360 steps a day to get to a million steps in May. And so, you know, I went from 17 to 21 to 30 to 32, 360. And I thought, okay, you know, this is a challenge. This is an adventure. This is something fun. This is something to see if I can do. So, so I committed then to doing 32,360 steps a day so I could make it to a million. Okay. So then that got going. And so that, so that's basically where, why I'm doing the challenge. Um, it wasn't anything that I had planned or decided to do um, it just evolved and so once it evolved to a certain point I just did it because it was there Um, it's something it gave me something to talk about something to post on social media and so um, then what I after I got to thinking about it what I realized was I'm going to be going out of town on the 31st and didn't really want to have to deal I was going to be actually out of town on the 31st I was leaving town on the 30th and not having to want to deal with it, um, I changed the 
my challenge from a million steps in May to a million steps in 30 days. And so then I've been cruising along and I've been getting a few more steps than 32,000 here and there. And so today I had a major decision to make. Um, I was like, after I went out for the second time and I had over 30,000 steps today, I still was like 12,000 steps short of a million, which I'd kind of planned because I, I wanted um, Thursday morning, the 30th to be pretty easy. I didn't want to have to get 30,000 steps in all day long. I just wanted to get, you know, somewhere between 12 and 15,000 steps. So that was the plan. But then it kind of dawned on me that I was going to be doing the podcast recording tonight, which is Wednesday night and blogging and, and all that. And did I really want to have to mess with making sure I got the million the next morning and having done the blog post already saying that I had made it when I hadn't yet and something could have happened like a thunderstorm all morning or, you know, there was just so, so today I made a decision to go ahead and go for it and, um, stayed out a long time and got 40, I think I ended up with like 46,000 steps today. So I did reach a million steps today, which is the 29th day. So that's why I did the million step challenge adventure. And um, that's where I ended up. So, so how did I get a million steps? And how much time did it take? Um, so basically, this is kind of on average looking at it. So I did a full two hours every morning and tried to get in between 18 and 20,000 steps every morning just to get kind of the bulk. So that was two hours committed every day. And then I had to get at least like another 8,000 steps in at some point during the day. And so I either did a, a track uh, at the beginning of the month, I would just go through my house like in a figure eight. Um, and then here, as it warmed up and the sun came out, I've been going out on the trail for an extra hour. And so that's basically three hours. And then you got to kind of add about another 30 minutes for just walking, doing everyday activity, or, you know, like if I'm brushing my teeth or on the phone, I would walk um, to get those extra steps in while I was, um, you know, doing two things at once. But um, so basically, I think I committed about three and a half hours a day to get a million steps in 29 days, except today I committed more than I think today was four and a half, probably um, four and a half. But on average, I think I averaged three and a half hours a day to get all those steps and to get. Um, so basically, if I walked really fast I could get 4,000 steps in 30 minutes. If I walked around the house, kind of an average speed, I could get 1,000 steps every 10 minutes. So that'd be 6,000 an hour or 3,000. So, so basically, th if I walked kind of casually, 3,000 in 30 minutes. If I went out on the trail and I really booked it walking, I could get 4,000 in 30 minutes but then if I jogged kind of did I what I did was I would do a kind of a short step quick jog because that just gave me more steps I could get 5,000 steps in 30 minutes so in the mornings I would kind of mix it up with that jogging or fast walking um, some mornings I'd get 18,000 some mornings I get 20,000 uh, and I was never, no matter what I did, combo or how fast I went, I never really was able to get more than 10,000 steps in an hour. Um, so basically, my max was 10,000 steps an hour. Um, so that's basically how I got uh, basically between 30 and 35,000 steps in a day. Um, what tips do I have? Uh, if you're going to do something like this. So the, these tips are for if you're going to do a contest or a challenge or if you just want to get more steps in per day. Um, if you're going to do a contest, you're going to need to have at least one big block um, of time and it's going to need to be either two 
or three hours. Uh, three hours is a long time. So two hours is pushing it, but you're probably going to need, unless you, you know, my blocks equaled three hours and it was two hours in the morning, one hour in the afternoon. You could break it up where it was one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, one hour in the evening. Um, but you're going to have to have some at least hour to two hour blocks to get a lot of those steps in. Um, so I recommend two hours in the morning and then one hour. I did one hour in the afternoon. Um, and then some of the, uh, kind of easy ways to get extra steps is if I was out here in the studio and I got a phone call, I would just stand up and I would just walk back and forth while I was on the phone. Uh, I think one phone conversation, I got 2000 steps in. There was one night when I actually recorded my confessions of a dance dad, um, podcast episode while I was recording that it was during this challenge. I walked back and forth. I've got the video, um, and I, I don't know how many. I'm sure I got maybe three or four thousand steps that night. So, uh, so do uh, you know things that you normally do? Just stand up and walk while you're doing them, and you'll start to get extra steps in. Uh, when I would come home in the morning, if I'd get twenty thousand steps in out on the trail while I was feeding the dog, I would grab a granola bar and watch some of the morning news and kind of walk around my house and I could add an extra thousand steps in 10 minutes, um, you know, by just doing that. And then um, just uh, if you go somewhere, a restaurant or shopping or to an event, uh, park in the furthest spot that you can. So you have to walk further to get in and out of the venue that adds more steps. Uh, while I brush my teeth, um, I would walk around the house and I would get more steps in while I was brushing my teeth. Um, uh, be sure uh, one of the other, I think, advantages is if you wear an Apple Watch or a Fitbit that feeds your steps into your phone. Because sometimes you might be doing something where you don't have your phone. Well, if, if there's 30 to 50 extra steps here and there that you're not counting because you're not carrying your phone... Um, your Fitbit or your Apple Watch will record those. And then when you get to your phone, it will dump those steps onto your phone. So I think you can get a lot of extra steps by wearing a watch or a Fitbit. Um, another um, tip on getting your steps in is to wear really good shoes, walking or running shoes with good cushion because you know, once you get to that 20,000 step mark in the mornings, your feet are going to start to heat up. And if you don't have good shoes, you're going to get blisters. I never did get blisters uh, during this whole thing. Um, I wore Brooks. I think I think they're Brooks 20s. Um, and man, they they were they're probably some of the best shoes I've ever uh, run or walked in. And, and then I wore running socks. And so don't wear just regular old cotton socks. I would wear some type of thinner or kind of padded um, running or walking sock. Uh, but you definitely want your feet to be as comfortable as possible because, like I say, once you get out there and you're doing 20,000 steps, um, you got to have super comfortable feet. So uh, make sure you have good shoes and socks. Uh, what other tips? Uh, I think that's probably about it on the tips. Um, what were some of the downsides to uh, doing a million steps in a month or in 29 days? Basically, the huge, biggest, major um, downside is the time that it takes. So, you know not only so you're challenging yourself and you're getting yourself fit and you're doing all this exercise but the downside to all of that is the time involved you've got to spend extra time in the morning extra time in the afternoon and then um you know some evenings i just had to like pace back and forth in here while i was watching tv or something just to get in those extra steps so uh, the time commitment is the biggest um, downside to doing a challenge like that uh, another downside that i didn't have but i heard some other people talking about was like i mentioned earlier is um, if you're using this app and you're checking it 
and you see that somebody jumps, you know, a thousand steps ahead of you, then you have the urge to stop whatever you're doing and do 1500 steps so you get 500 ahead of them and then two hours later you check the app and you notice that now all of a sudden they're 700 steps ahead of you and so it can it can be addicting um, and uh, depending on how competitive you are it, it can eat up you know it can eat you up so uh, luckily for me when I I busted out that second day at 30,000 and got so far in the lead, um, there was really nobody ever jumped me um, as far as the overall lead, so I didn't have to worry about that. So um, that could be a tip is if you're going to do one of these challenges and you've never done it before, nobody knows what your tactics are going to be, jump way out in front as quickly as you can and kill them in the beginning and crush their hopes of ever winning by getting lots of steps in in the beginning and then once you uh, get so far ahead you can kind of back off but um, my yeah that would be my my tip or tactic is uh, get as many in quickly as you can uh, the only other downside uh, which I kind of just mentioned is if you don't wear good shoes or socks you might end up with uh, blisters uh, which is going to make it really hard um, to get an extra 20,000 steps in the next day. Uh, the one good thing about me is there was no weather, there was no injury, there was no anything that prevented me from getting my at least 30,000 steps in every day. So I got 30,000 steps in every day. Um, and so, uh, but if you have bad shoes or socks and you do get some blisters, you might have to sit out a day, which can really, really hurt your, your numbers and your averages. Um, and then also, I did notice that I got kind of achy knees, um, but if you're not in good shape, you may get achy legs, knees, or feet. Um, so you want to be, if you're going to do a million steps, you want to be in at least decent shape. So looking back at this challenge or this adventure, there's 10 things that I listed that I learned or gained from this adventure. Uh, number one, uh, at the age of 61, which I am, uh, I was able to do something that very few people will ever do. So if you if you look at the apps and you look at the health app and the, the step apps and you look at stuff online, um, people doing 30,000 steps a day are basically in the elite, what they call the elite category. I mean, there's very few people, um, maybe only people running marathons, and they're not training every day. Um, so if you're walking that many steps a day, you're kind of in an elite field and, and getting a million steps in one month or getting a million steps in 29 days, uh, it's quite an accomplishment, especially for a dude that's 61 years old. So if I can do it at 61 and you're out there and you're 31 or 41, uh, you got it made. Uh, number two, I set goals and conquered them, giving me a continued sense of accomplishment. So yeah, so basically when I went to... 21 and upped it to 30 and then upped it to 32 and then decided on the million um, it was just each time I hit each one of those marks it was uh, gave me a sense of accomplishment every day so that was always fun um, I had been slowly gaining a little bit of weight so when you when you get your weight down to where you think it's perfect for where you're at so for me I feel comfortable at 158 pounds and I've stayed at 158 pounds for quite a while. Every now and then I'll, I'll go up a little bit and then I'll come back down. But for me at this age and everything, that's where I'm comfortable. But I had gained about three pounds um, over the last couple of months due to trips and eating more than usual and this and that. Um, and then I was finding it a little bit hard. The older you get, the harder it is to just, and the harder it is to take off weight. But then when you're, like I say, when you're, when you're down and you don't have a whole lot of weight to lose anyway, it's kind of hard to lose three pounds. I mean, if I was 60 pounds overweight, losing three pounds would be really easy. But when you're only three pounds overweight, 
uh, losing those three pounds can be pretty tough. And so, but um, this walk, uh, doing all these steps, uh, helped me lose those three pounds. And I lost those in about two weeks. Um, and then I kind of plateaued. I, I didn't lose because then I upped the amount of food that I was eating um, just to kind of maintain. Um, my legs are more toned and I'm in better shape than when I started. So um, that's kind of cool. I feel like um, my uh, uh, fat percentage probably went down a little bit. Um, number five, I was able to get a great tan from walking outdoors uh, on average about three hours a day. And that morning sunlight is the best. It's not going to burn you. Um, and so those two hours in the morning give you some really good um sunshine but then in the afternoons when I really got the sun and if you can I'm pretty red because I was out for quite a while today so and she might if you're not watching the video I'm showing my probably looks a little red uh burnt it doesn't feel burned I didn't I don't think I'm burned but um I got a good tan so uh that's always good it's always good to get that extra vitamin D number five I tested my endurance and stamina in preparation for my first ever half marathon adventure, which I'm planning on doing next year. So I kind of wondered, am I going to be able to run for two hours to ha do a half hour straight? And uh, there was a couple mornings where I did to get my 20,000 steps in. Now, it was just a kind of a quick jog, but um, I was able to run continuously without stopping. So um, that helped me test um, that. Uh, number seven, uh, one of the benefits is I won. I think I'm at the point today, I, I think I can safely say that nobody can pass me at this point. So I won the uh, Walk This May Challenge, and I'm going to get a free pair of shoes. That's kind of cool. Um, number eight, I had something to look forward to every day of the challenge, giving me motivation to do more steps. Yeah, so basically rather than every morning when I, I – I'm motivated to get up every morning and do my seven miles – just because I'm outdoors, I get to meditate, I get to manifest and all this other stuff. But with this contest, that gave me just an extra bonus of, okay, I get to get up and try to get in 20,000 steps this morning and then 30,000 steps by the end of the day. So it was uh, gave me a lot more motivation every day to get more steps in. Number nine, the adventure gave me something to blog and podcast about. So here I am uh, podcasting about uh, another adventure. So um, I think I'm going to be looking for more of these little things to do. And number 10, I also learned that we can all do way more than we think we can if we just put our mind to it. Yeah, there was, uh, you know, in the beginning... I didn't know if I was going to be able to do 30,000 steps every day. I knew I could do 30,000 steps a lot of days, but I didn't know. You know, I thought there was one day where we went to some graduations down at OU and went to two graduations in one day, which meant there was going to be a lot of sitting. And then I, we were spending the night in Norman, so I wasn't going to have the freedom to do a lot of steps like out here in my studio so at one point um at, in the graduation when there was nobody crossing you know I knew there was going to be 100 people to wait on crossing the stage I went up to the top of the Lloyd Noble Center and I walked did steps around the Lloyd Noble Center so um so that was always it was kind of fun um, to do things like that, to have little adventures every day of how to trying to squeeze in um, the steps. So basically, I was always able to find a way of getting my 30,000 steps in every day. Um, so anyway, that's uh, my million step adventure. Uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't super hard. I mean, it was uh, something that I could easily do again you know next may or whatever but i think i've kind of uh, told myself this is going to be a one and done i don't want to i know if i were to do the contest again and people recognized um, who i was they would probably keep up with me um, which would make it a little harder and then you know so anyway i've done it um uh, won the shoes and get to say I did a million steps in May. So now I'm just going to look for other challenges. So I'm probably not going to do that one again. Um, and again, it did take a lot of uh, extra time. 
Um, but I did enjoy uh, getting in shape and getting all those extra steps and losing that extra three pounds. So if I do need to lose three pounds, I might uh, up my steps just to get that done. Um, and uh, just I just want to encourage you guys to um, do more steps and to kind of set up more adventures for yourself. They don't have to be, an adventure doesn't have to be like going to the safari or going into the jungle. An adventure can be something like getting a million steps in one month. So um, do all that. Uh, if you guys do go to the uh, blog post or you see the picture I posted on Facebook, basically what I did was when I was, I was out in the driveway um, trying to get to a million and my goal was right before I got to a million I, I wanted to stop and let all the steps go through my watch to my phone to the pacer app and then stop and, and know exactly where I was and then I wanted to just take a couple of steps so it would finally total 1 million exactly and so I wanted to try to be able to stop exactly on 1 million steps and take a screenshot of that amount well it, that's a way lot harder um, than it sounds and so I thought I was going to come in just under a million but the thing is these things are kind of wacky when you move you're not exactly sure how many steps it's going to count when you take like three steps sometimes it might tick five or it might only tick two you and so you never know and then you gotta stand still and wait and wait and wait and wait for it to go all the way to the pacer app so anyway um i thought i was getting close and i was going to come in just under and be able to get it but i opened up the app and i looked and i had just just barely gone over and so if you look at the photo it has the total the first total I got when I went over a million, and if you guys know me, um, it's kind of ironic. It ended up at one million twenty-two steps, and so the ironic thing about that is twenty-two uh, is my favorite two-digit number. It's my lucky number. Uh, my my lucky number is two, but two twos is twenty-two, which makes it double lucky. And so it's just kind of cool and ironic and probably meant to be that I ended up at 1 million and 22 steps. And so basically that was around five o'clock today. Since then, I've been walking around. I went to dinner. So I'm already over uh, 1 million, 2,000 steps. And then I'll probably, I'll go out in the morning, which will be on the 30th. I'll probably get you know, maybe 15,000 steps tomorrow, and then maybe end up getting another um, 15,000 steps on Friday, which will be the 31st. So, um, so I am going to end up with uh, quite a few more than a million, but I did hit a million steps in 29 days. Pretty proud of that. I appreciate you guys that encouraged me. Um, I uh, want to encourage you guys that told me that you were upping your steps and that you had started walking because of what I was doing. So I want to keep encouraging you guys uh, to keep walking, keep moving. You guys let me know. Send me an email, curtis at curtistucker.com or shags at shaggyduck.com. Let me know if you guys are doing a challenge or if you've started walking or if you already walk or run or, or do any of that stuff, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, the more subscribers I can get, um, I will get things cranking. And then I finally got my store, my T-shirt store uh, payment system to work on the website, curtistucker.com. And so I think I'm going to start uh, creating some brand new T-shirts and I will have those for sale uh, on there and all that good stuff. So that's uh, my million step adventure and I'm going to get out of here. See ya.